DTW24 Digital Transformation World here in Copenhagen, Denmark. We are looking forward to gaining the very best telecom insights from the best. And we're here with Ericsson at Ericsson and we are here with Max Carlson, who is the Vice President and Head of Solution Area Business and Operation Support Systems at Ericsson. Max, how are you? How are you doing? Very nice. It's nice to be back. Absolutely. Uh, likewise, I, I would say the same. Now, what about your expectation for this event? Um, expectation is really to meet uh, a lot of customers and of course having very good discussions with them. I think this is the, I think the main reason. And the other one is of course to show what we are doing as well in the booth here. I mean, uh, it's uh, coming out a lot. I, I, I remember from previous events in Barcelona, here in Copenhagen, uh, you're always like uh, excited to be meeting with customers from all over the world, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that is, I mean, you're passionate about it, I know that. So uh, let's talk now about um, how in this era of connectivity where we are, I mean, service innovation is key. It's something that we need to talk a lot, and I think here we have the opportunity to do that. What can you tell us about? No, clearly, I think what we are doing with OSS and BSS now is really about helping the, the operators to accelerate service innovation. I think there is a lot of couple of challenges. I, I think, I mean, spectrum is still a scarce resource. I mean, uh, it's still expensive to, so how can you actually maximize the use of the spectrum in terms of having the most valued services on, on using that spectrum? The other one is, is I mean, when we're shifting from um, static to dynamic slicing, how do we uh, make sure that you can actually read out how does the network look right now because you need to take decisions on seconds to reshuffle the network to provide the correct uh, SLAs for each service. I think we're also seeing a much more multi-vendor centric environment. I mean, you need to be able to, to orchestrate and handle services across multiple vendors. And I think that also comes with a disaggregation of the networks. I mean, the network is getting into smaller and smaller pieces, and then you actually need to build it up again to make it into end-to-end uh, -end services. And of course, with the, you talked about the connectivity services, but differentiated connectivity services is really where we are now uh, trying to support and drive the industry. And that means that you have connectivity services that are either uniquely tailored for a specific service, that your specific use case, or actually to a specific user of that one. So everyone can have the tailor-make uh, uh, services. And of course, what we are now trying is come with, with a, a package that we call um, um, Ericsson Service Orchestration and Assurance. And it's really about helping the operator to commercialize new services, to help them operationalize them, and, and in the last one, to industrialize it and to bring the full scale. So we're having uh, like both our product, Ericsson Service Orchestration and Assurance, that is on demo here. But on top of that one, we're also helping the operator with a lot of um, solution assets to help them being quicker to, to take slicing and end-to-end -end services into full operation. Uh, and on top of that one, also having a couple of services packages to help them in. How do they actually do the business case? How do they have the capability of monetize these new services? Because the question I often get is that uh, I mean, how should I make money on differentiated connectivity? And it's still there. I think you start now to see more and more operators are figuring it out and they're finding the use cases that they can uh, that, that they can monetize. Let's say. Yeah, I, you know, I remember also we discussed in the, in the past uh, recently about 5G monetization and how Ericsson, with monetization, as you were saying, how Ericsson is helping as well consulting services to get there for the provider, right? Yeah, absolutely, I mean, uh, we, we are trying not only to provide the, the product, but also to helping them to bring that product and the solution into operation, but also actually helping them to actually, I mean, make money out of the services that they can create on this, um, this solution that they now have. So, so we are taking the full span. That, that's amazing. And what about, I mean, we every, everywhere we are talking about AI, artificial intelligence, how this applies, or what can you say how Ericsson is using here AI? We are, we are using it in multiple places. One, as I said, in, in service orchestration and, and assurance. I mean, how do you make sure that you can handle 
uh, a closed slope automation. I mean, if you provide a service, how do you make sure that SLA is kept up? And that means that we are using AI to make sure that the service is, is delivering the correct SLAs all the time. I think the other one, which is on demo here, is what we call uh, using, uh, when we are setting an intent for a new service, like it should fulfill this. Then we are actually, instead of having an advanced configuration, you actually talk to the product and you say, I want this service to fulfill this and this, and you're using ChatGPT type of solutions. So this is another one that, where you can see Gen AI is, is really coming into uh, to play. And I think we're also now more launching a, a couple of distinct services to help the operator uh, to actually monetize, to operate their systems in field, etc. I mean, that more or less solves a clear business outcome. So, so clearly you will not see only in one place, in multiple places, you will see AI coming in now. That sounds absolutely uh, amazing and exciting. The, I mean, the prospect that we have here is great. And well, you're going to be meeting with customers here and, and I always see you here in these events that you're passionate about meeting in person all the time, with, uh, every, every time you have the opportunity, right? Um, what about meeting with them here today with this new environment and with this new service orchestration that you mentioned? No, I, I think, I mean, I expect a lot of the discussions to be around like differentiated connectivity, AI, etc. And, and uh, I mean, for me, it's always, I mean, this is the way I learn actually talking to the, to the to customers. That's awesome. And um, thank you very much. Very, thank you very much for having us here, uh, Mats, and looking forward to learn more about your services. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.